Chris Call here with CLK Video Productions in Riverside, California. And uh, you just saw the completed video that we're working on the tutorial for here. Uh, so now I'm in uh, Adobe Premiere, Premiere Pro 6 and I'm adding my files to, um, to the project here. This is a down and dirty, quick and easy way to do a shotgun muzzle flash uh, with sound effects and uh, a little extra few things. I'm putting in um, a muzzle flash from um, K Action Essentials. Uh, I'm also using a uh, dust blowout uh, shotgun sound effect and a broken glass sound effect. So you'll kind of see what we're going to do here. So I put my, um, I got my, um, uh, all my stuff in here now. And uh, I put my main footage on the timeline. No, um, no color grading or anything we're doing on this. Uh, nothing fancy. We're just doing the tutorial for the shotgun blast. Uh, so now I'm going to trim my footage where I want it to start at the beginning. Uh, kind of move it around here. I don't want all the crap in front of it. Alright. And hopefully I can get it lined up here quick. Alright. Got my start point there. And... Uh, Recorrect my opacity that I just screwed up. Scoot it over to the beginning. And I might trim the end a little bit too. I don't really want some crap on the end there. Alright, we'll go with that for right now. Okay, so I got my stuff in the timeline. I got my, uh, where, where I want it to go. Start to finish, basically. Uh, so now I want to add my muzzle flash. And um, Action Essentials is awesome. Um, it comes from videocopilot.com um, or videocopilot.net. I can't remember which one. Uh, just Google it and uh, they sell these things there. Um, Andrew Kramer is brilliant and he's got some great pre-keyed stuff here. This stuff is already pre-keyed so I'm just kind of dropping it in and it's already transparent. Now you can see that is totally wrong. The blast is going backwards. It's in the wrong spot. Uh, so I have to do a little fixing up here. scooter down to about where the blast is going to occur and do a little fine adjustment here noticing that I'm layering I'm layering the gun blast above the video footage itself now I'm going to into the uh, effects tab on the top there on top left I'm uh, adjusting the um, angle and rotation of this uh, shotgun blast to the position I want it in so it matches with the gun. Uh, it also has to blast uh, with the fake recoil I'm doing which is kind of lame uh, but I'm going to spin that bad boy around and uh, move it over and hopefully get it squared away here. Right there is where I want it to start. There we go. Boom. I kind of want it to make look kind of brilliant here. Actually, a little overkill when you're doing a video. It's kind of make it look badass. You know, make it bigger than what real life would be. Uh, things tend to be exaggerated in the movie world. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than what it probably would normally be and after you get your when you're in your effects tab and you're doing the motion stuff you just basically just click on the layer and you can move it around freely with the uh, cursor the arrow key the arrow um, on your mouse now I'm putting in notice I just put in, stuck another layer in there now I'm doing dust I want it to kind of look like a blowback from the wall kind of thing like I'm shooting the wall 
So uh, now I got to scale this dust thing. I want it to blow out away from the wall, kind of add an effect. I want to kind of make it big to kind of almost fill the room. So I'm going to scale it, uh, position it, and move it accordingly. That's kind of big, kind of overwhelming puff of dust there. That's what I want. And I want to kind of to blow up because I'm shooting kind of in a downward angle. So if it's blowing down, it would kind of look funny. I want it to blow up a little bit. I'm trying to make it kind of look realistic with all the color stuff. Normally you can add a flash to your face too, and that's usually through uh, an another layer. Uh, using a doubling up on the layer, the, the means project layer, and um, messing with that. And you can see i got to make this thing bigger because you can see the edges of the, of the, uh, of the overlay. So we've got to make that bigger. So that's cool though. It'll fill the room more. That's what I want. Badass is the name of the game when you're doing gun blast. Okay. Do a little trim up here. I might have to do a little bit more adjusting on this thing, but um, I think we're about right. I shot it at uh, 23.97 frames per second too, so it's a film rate. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I got plenty of motion blur. I don't have to mess with that or anything. If I shot it at a faster fa frame rate, I would have had to add motion blur, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, now I'm adding the sound effects here, gun blast sound effects. And I got me a kick-ass uh, shotgun blast sound too, it's pretty awesome. It's really loud and it's not, uh, not chintzing on the sound here at all, so it's going to be pretty awesome. And then I want to add, um, when I'm done with that, I got one more sound effect that I want to add. Um, and that's going to be um, broken glass. Real slight. Because um, I want to, I kind of want to make it sound like I like, broke a vase or something like that too. So um, I'm going to plug another sound effect in. And then I think we're about wrapped up. We're going to render this thing out and call it good. Alright. Little broken glass noise in the background. A nice blast. Dust blowing out. Nice muzzle flash. Real basic but quick and easy. This is a great start starting point you know uh, you can do this stuff outside and everything so uh, we're gonna render this out but this about wraps up wraps up this uh, tutorial I'm sure you don't want to see this part but uh, this is Chris call with CLK video productions in Riverside California you can see us at clkvideoproductions.com thanks for watching <laughs>